Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning everyone. I hope that you are having a great day. Welcome to Whispers and Ink. Welcome to Whispers and Ink. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire and you guys, I'm here not only to inspire you, but give you permission to try something new because you can do it. I'm telling you, I know you can. I promise this is coming from the person that wasn't crafty, you guys. So with that, oh, you guys, what a great day it is so far. You guys, the sun is shining and it looks fabulous outside. I am super duper excited because it helps you get out of the ho-hums, right, you guys? You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the whole humps. That's kind of why, it's kind of why I'm thinking it's a good day for some butterfly sunglasses. Hey, Kathy. So happy that you're here with me this morning. Good morning. Oh, I think it's time for some butterfly sunglasses, you guys. Um, annual catalogs are in. For, so for those that are looking for catalogs, um, I'm getting ready to do the shipping on them, which will include lots of little things for some folks. Um, if I'm mailing catalogs to you, it is would be a good idea if you wanted the Ding Dong Ditches or anything like that that I have available. I can combine all that shipping all together and you get one big goodie bag. I'm just saying. Okay, now I want to share some inspiration with you that I did not make. You guys, I received a bunch of birthday cards and I wanted to share them with you today. Um, but with that, we got a catalog. Oh, look at those beautiful colors. Aren't they pretty? Mm, love it. I have a bunch of business for us today, you guys. A whole, whole bunch. So I hope that you're ready for the ride because there's lots to share here today. Okay, so these, I, I think I shared with you guys these awesome, this is a necklace and you guys, it lights up. Look, can you guys see the light? Yeah, you guys can, even with that bright light. So, um, love these. I got a couple of these and I'm super duper excited because I won't have to worry about the batteries going out with having so many. But, and then this, you guys have seen this in my lives a couple times. That was a gift that I received. Oh, and I want to say, I think I shared this. I think I did because this one's an older one because it's tucked in here. I've shared all the stuff that's up here, but look at you guys. I have a pile. I have a pile of things. Okay, so I, I think if you guys remember, I shared, and hang on, I'm going to try to be strategic here. I shared... Dee, dee, dee. Hang on, I'm coming. I shared this envelope. You guys, this is a pop-up card. Look at that. No, I'm not teaching you how to make this because I think that might even be too much for me. So it came flat. And of course I put a bunch of the, it came flat in the box. And you add the butterflies as desired. So, and it opens, it props up. And there's, it comes with um, die cut or laser cut butterflies, which I have on here. Here's an example of one of them. Isn't that cool? Interactive. I still kind of get to make my own card, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, and this... This beauty is from Jean, Jeanette, and Nancy. So that was a fun thing to get. And then 
it came, it, whoops, oh goodness, in that envelope, it comes with this Monarch, and I love this. I think we might need to use that in something someday, not today. And it also came with, this is a different card. Oh no, it just came with this. This, the butterflies, and that. So thank you, ladies. I greatly appreciate it. That is a fun card. And I think it would be interesting to maybe do a smaller scale version of something like this. But you guys, that's going to take me a long time. There's a lot of mechanics to figure out on that one. Mechanisms and joints and all of that good stuff. All right, now let's get on to the pile here. Piles. I need to move a couple things. Hang on. That'll be good for now. Actually, this goes over here with the other thing I'm going to talk about. Okay. Now, here's the pile of goodness. And I saw in the mail today that there was another one coming, so, which I appreciate. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. Isn't that pretty, you guys? And that is using the um, Build a Butterfly Butterflies, which I love. Love those. And inside was also these little laser cut wood pieces, which I thought were really cool. There we go. Aren't those pretty, you guys? Do you see the butterfly there? i got to figure out what I'm doing with those. Those are going to be a fun project for something. So, and those two are from Lynn. And then this card here, this one is from Paula. Love me some fresh freesia and some metallic butter, brass butterflies. Sorry, brass butterflies. This... Good morning, Miss Kim. This, along with a butterfly house, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Wrong way. Wrong way. There it is. It's on the table. Right. Right there. So, that the, this card, this butterfly card came with that butterfly house from Miss Paula. And then this card... I want to say, yep, this card is from Anna Rebidou. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I love, I miss that kind of marble paper. That was celebration paper. But isn't that pretty with the splatters on that butterfly? I love it. Oh, love it. And then this card comes from Deirdre in California. I know, I love butterfly houses too. Okay. So this one came from Deirdre. Isn't that pretty, you guys? The, I missed that bird ballad. Ballard, sorry. So pretty. And then she's got some brass butterflies on there for me. So pretty. But you guys, here's the last, here's the, you guys, we talk on, on here about making sure that you stamp correctly. Now, I always say, you send these things to someone to um, give them a good giggle, right? And I'm all about getting them. I know Paula and Nancy send them back and forth to each other. So that's the fun part of stuff like this, you guys. I, I did. I opened it up and I'm like, oh, and I started to laugh. So there was a nice note in there. So thank you, Deirdre. And then this gorgeous card. You guys, look at that silver foil on there. Woo, isn't that pretty? This one's from Martha. This one's from Martha. I love it. So pretty. I love the gray with the blue and the silver. I thought that was really pretty. This one's from my dad, you guys. Cat selfies <laughs> from my dad. I thought that was funny. And then this one, I want to say this one's from Kim. Yep, this one's from Kim along with my, my coffee cup. And this looked vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kim, I had to laugh. 
And you know I was just teasing you. But I love that card. So pretty. And then this card. This one is a paper pumpkin. That one's a paper pumpkin. And you guys, she put in some extra layers here from that paper pumpkin kit to get the card that she wanted. <laughs> So, Carmen did a beautiful job on that card. And you guys, oh, I, I am so lucky. So, so lucky with all of you guys. And then this one, this one's from Becky, you guys. She heat embossed. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. Love it. Actually, did she? No, she wink Estella. That's black. That's Wink Estella on there. But so pretty. I love the color combo. That, um, is that Starry Sky or Orchid Oasis? No, nope. Starry Sky with the Fresh Freesia, you guys. It's kind of a cool color combo. I wouldn't have thought to put that together, but I actually really like it. Really like it. And then here's another card. Stand up, you guys. Look at that. This one is from Nancy, Jean, and Jeanette also because, you know, they're overachievers. But isn't that cool? Look at all the layers on that. So pretty. So pretty. Swallowtail's my favorite. And then this one, this one's from Tammy. Try what? Heat emboss would be fun to try with all those details. Oh, I agree. I totally agree, Kim. It would be. Um, this one, and it's a fun fold, you guys. Fun fold card. And then Tammy got me um, this little pushkin. And she got me some kitty hot sauce, you guys. Which I thought was funny. So fun. And then this card, you guys, look at how gorgeous is that. Wink Estella in that, too. And this one's from Deanne. Love. Look at all that Wink Estella in there. Oh, this is from this designer series paper here, you guys, is from when the Butterfly Brilliance first came out. So that was three years ago because... It sold out so quickly, I couldn't do, use it for the Butterfly Birthday Bash. So, that's how quickly it sold, it sold out. And it was such a bummer, but we still had fun. So, that's that one from Deanne. Oh, and Deanne got me a metal butterfly candle holder with a chain. And it's actually hanging up by my fireplace. Then this one... Guys, oh... Hang on, apparently I'm stuck. I'm stuck! You guys, this one's from Connie. And look at this. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Whoa, there we go. I'm so glad you are part of my story and the, with the barn door that slides. And you guys, there is... She did, I don't know if you can see, there's like a washers in there. Skinny, hey, Anne. There's washers in there that she put dimensionals in to create a track for the barn door. So cool. All right. Then, Dandelion Wishes, you guys. Oh, I miss Dandelion Wishes. This one, oh, I still have this one. This is one I'll never get rid of. Um, and this stamp is one of the reasons, but don't you love that triple time stamping with the so saffron in there? Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Now, I've done a video on how to do this topsy-turvy, um, triple time stamping, you guys. It's over on YouTube. If you want a link, then let me know. Yeah, exactly, Kim. Exactly. And then this one, this one, this one's from Erica, you guys. And we're going to try this. I want to make this fence door kind of card. But I want to do it when 
There's a new stamp set in the new catalog, you guys. It's called Hey Chuck. And you guys, I'm super excited about it because it totally goes along with our Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick dies. Um, there's a lot of die cuts in the bundle and it's one of the first ones on my list because you guys know me and my crazy chickens, but I want to try this. I want to do this fold with the, um, with the Hey Chuck dies. I thought that would be fun. Kind of like having them peek through the the fence and whatnot. I thought that would be, I know, can't wait for Chuck, Kim says. Exactly. And then this was um, something that Erica got me too. And you guys, this is so cool because you um, drill it into a post and it sticks out from the post. So like I could put it at my front door and it would stick out. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Hang on. Oh, yeah, have to. Exactly, Ann, you have to. So if you imagine my arm is the post, you guys, and it would stick out like that. Isn't that cool? Oh, so excited about it. So excited about that. And so many other things, you guys. Oh, these earrings that I'm wearing today, guys, for the last three days, I've had new butterfly earrings on. Last three lives that I've done. I got beautiful butterfly earrings. I got, oh, you guys, so many beautiful things. And you guys, the Butterfly Birthday Bash is not about giving me presents, although I loved everything. Um, the, oh, you know what? I messed up, didn't I? Kim, you didn't get me the, the coffee cup. You got me the bell, the butterfly bell. Did I miss up and Connie got me the coffee cup? <gasps> I think I misspoke, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, You guys, Erica, Erica, Kim, I misspoke. I am so sorry. Um, So this is the coffee cup. Hang on. Do, do, do. This is my new coffee cup. And you guys, I've used it in one week. It's been in the dishwasher twice. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Um, I, I have so many amazing friends that I've made from stamping, you guys. Oh. I'm, I'm, and I, and I don't like to misspeak, you guys, so I'm, I really greatly apologize. Anyways, I'm going to be posting a picture later today, you guys. I also got three butterflies, all purple, and you guys, I love them, love them, um, and they're, so I'm standing at the entrance, you guys, to the craft room, and over here is the windows and in between the two windows here, there's a section of wall. And on that section of wall outside are the three butterflies that I got for my birthday also. <sighs> oh, so sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> yes, send me smooches, Kim. I need them today, apparently. Hmm. Okay, so, but here's... You guys, this is why you're here. You wanted to see the new designer series paper that I have so far, and that's what's up next. You guys ready? Or do I bypass this part? Do you guys really want to see the new papers? I have four. I have four. Actually, technically I have five, but you've already seen the one. You guys have already seen this one. Um... This one, we did this one on Wednesday night class. So if you guys haven't seen this, then um, then you're, you missed out on that video. And you're not going to be able to see them real well, but the cards are already right there. 
right there on the board. All right, so do you guys want to see these new papers? Or should I move on to the bits and pieces? Because I need a tag. I need a tag for a gift for a new neighbor. Erica? Erica! Oh, Kim says yes, please. Okay, so I think we're going to start with the little one, you guys. Because you know I'm going to show you. This one's called Bright and Beautiful. And this one has Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. It's pouring, Erica. Oh my gosh, it's sunshiny here. This one, you guys, has all of the new... All of the new colors in it. All the new colors. Am I missing one? I don't think so. Am I? So this, well, except for pecan pie, I didn't see that that had that in there, but all of the new color refresh colors um, are in this paper pack. So, and guys, I wanted to make sure, because ordering will be here before you know it. Tuesday is going to be here in two shakes of a leg, um, you guys. So, you can order all of these with one number. So if you want all the new ink pads in all the new colors, there is one number that you can order all of them, okay? Now, I'm gonna put that number, let me, hang on, I'm gonna put that number in the comments so that you can write it down. Do, do, do. You are going to want the color refresh. I know, you guys, I, my book is open and I can't, I can't show you the inside of the book yet. So hang on. Um, color refresh ink pads. Here is your number. It is, in case you want to write it down, one six one six eight three. Apparently, my typing skills is leaving much to be desired today. Again, one six one six eight three, and that is in the comment section, you guys. So that if, in case you want it, anybody catching the replay, all right? There's that, so that you have it. That's how you order all of those new color refresh ink pads, okay? Now there's ways that you can get the, um, the um, there's a paper pack, there is a marker refresh. Those are all in your catalog. If you need help with those, comment here and I will get you the item numbers. Okay, now back to the paper. So, so exciting. So you guys, I did, even though I have several of the ink pads, like, not the bubble, but I had the pretty peacock, and I had the misty moonlight. I had blueberry bushel, lemon lime twist, and I had berry burst. So I had five of the, the color six, actually, if you put fresh freesia in there, I had six. There was only five that I needed, but for me, you guys, it's not ever a bad thing to have more than one stamp set. So there are individual numbers that you can use. 
so don't fret, obviously. Good morning, Laura Ann. All right, so let's take a look at this paper. This paper, you guys, the bundle or the suite that this comes with, I'm excited. I actually have it ordered and it's coming. So I like how happy this paper is. Isn't it happy, you guys? Look at that. Oh, that's lemon lolly, you guys. So bright and so happy with stars on it. Isn't that pretty? Whew. Need some sunglasses for that one. Wow. And then you've got um, Berry Burst with a stripe. And then you got Fresh Freesia with some, ooh, that's cool. Kind of psychedelic y, kind of. These are actually triangles. And then I'm guessing that's a bubble bath with some polka dots. Oh, cute. And then lemon lolly with some stripes. And then, oh, you guys, this one I think might be my favorite piece. So far, anyways. Those two. Those two together would be fun. Here's lemon lime twist. And then you've got some hashtags on the back. I'm guessing that's pretty peacock. And you've got some fun little swirlies, graphic prints, Lost Lagoon, and some waves, Misty Moonlight, with some more stars, Azure Afternoon, and then you've got some um, confetti. I kind of like that ombre kind of... Uh, uh, Umbre look that that has. And that's got to be another Misty Moonlight one. And then you got stars on the back. And then you got the stripes. This looks like marker stripes, you guys. So if you would take a thick marker and you would have. And then Berry Burst on the, on the back side of that. That is a super fun. DSP pack you guys and the suite that this comes with focuses on birthdays and there's balloons in it um there is balloons in the die cut set um I know there's a couple there's two kind of happy birthday sentiments and there's a couple other things in there but you guys this is part of the paper share if you have not signed up for the paper share, if you need information on that, you need to reach out because I can get that to you. All right. This is another suite. And, oh, I don't remember what this country in or countryside in, I think is what this one's called. Countryside in. And this is balmy blue, boho blue. That could be what that one was. Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy is the colors in this one. This. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that Regency Park. Kind of. And then, oh, that's so pretty. You got the Misty Moonlight with the Night of Navy on that. So, guys, if you're not into flowers, guess what? That's okay because you've got patterns on the other side. And then we've got bunny rabbits, which are cute. And then we've got this nice stripe. And then we've got pea stubs. You guys, this could be this could be a um, Christmas paper. This one could with the right sentiment and the right um, and the right pieces. That could be Christmas. I would say morning doves or pea stubs. And then you got a stripe. That kind of reminds me of an old wallpaper pattern, but I like it because it's not, it's not too obnoxious, you guys. Honestly, even as a full 12 by 12. I sometimes these these types of patterns get to be a little bit too much, but this one's really pretty. I think because it's got those grays in there. I think that's part of it. And then we've got a different stripe. Actually, I like that that way better. And then boho bluey. Then we've got some fox and some fox here on this one with um, kind of polka dot 
pattern. And then the last one is just blue trees with some flowers. And then we've got some, I would say, those look kind of like blue daisies. I don't have anything, you guys. If you could kind of break it up, there you go. You can see the blue daisies in there. So that is the Countryside Inn, and this is included in the paper share. And then this one is Zoo Crew, you guys. Oh, so cute. This Zoo Crew is also a bundle. And look at you've got rabbits and ducks and antelopes and gators and fox. I think that's everybody on roller skates and scooters and oh my gosh you guys how fun is that all right let's see what we got in here I haven't bought this one yet you guys I was kind of on the fence I wanted to see the paper first this paper this page alone is super cute fun kids birthday cards and then you got a black and white herringbone pattern oh and now we've got koalas and elephants and raccoons and aardvarks and puppies cute well and here's something else you guys you could color these you could leave them the way that they are but you could like color the elephant and color the raccoon if you wanted to and then you got black and white stars on the back side. And now we've got llamas and bears and rams and hedgehogs. Oh, you guys, that hedgehog set's still around. That would be cute addition to this. And sloth. And then you've got like a squiggle, black and white squiggle. Now, okay, you guys, this could also, you could use your blending brush and you could make those squiggles a different color. And this one, we've got bears and boars and frogs, otters and turtles and frogs. In this one, we're all playing musical instruments. And then we've got, I like this one, mostly white with the black. Oh, but am I changing your aunt mind, Erica? This one's cute. Oh, and now we've got ballerinas. We've got sheep and and deer. These deer and tigers and hippos and kitties. Ballerinas, you guys. Oh, so cute. And then you've got black and white. You could do the same thing. Remember I was talking about the black. You could take your blending brush. You could do the same thing with this one. With any of these black and white sides, you guys. And now we're camping. We've got a skunk and a, and a lion and a pig and a bird and a badger, I'm going to say. And then a little mouse with some butterflies. Oh, so cute. So cute. You guys, this is this paper. You guys, this is why you don't, this is why you participate in the paper share. This is the exact reason why you participate in the paper share. Because you can look at things in the book and you're just like, nah, nah. But you guys, because that's kind of how I was about this paper. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. So this, and then on the back side, Oh, you guys, it's got little flowers on the back side. So cute. Yes, it is a, a sweet Erica, and it does come with a stamp set, dies, and, and, you guys, I have the ribbon for that. Hang on, let me find it. Let me find it. The ribbon comes in a duo pack. Yeah, do not miss out on the paper share. That's exactly the right. So here is the ribbon. You get, this is, I'm going to say that's a, 
bubble bath or a petal pink, a combo, and it comes with this lemon lime twist um, paper ribbon. So this is a multi-pack with this suite, stamp set dies, and these. Um, so, oh, yeah, Erica, you know, it's got a little bit of pretty, but a little bit of fun, and I agree, that's the perfect combination. Perfect. Okay. So exciting. All right, so that's this one, the Zoo Crew one, you guys. All right, so then the last one is this one, and this one is the Fresh as a Daisy, and I think I showed this one to you guys already. Do you believe it? I haven't even cut it up yet, you guys. With the Butterfly Birthday Bash, I've been too busy doing stuff. And then cleaning up. Oh, my room is still a disaster. Still a disaster, you guys. At least I can walk in it now. On Saturday and Sunday, you guys, I can barely walk in here. Barely. I like that lemon lime twist ribbon too. It's super cute. Okay, so here is the is it fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. And this one, you guys, uses some of the new colors. Hey, Sherry. Azure Afternoon, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So you'll see in this paper all of the new ink colors. Here are the five new ink colors, you guys. So you got Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, and Pebbled Path. Now, I've used Wild Wheat. You guys have seen that card. And I have a card that I could share, maybe, that's from the um, Butterfly Birthday Bash that we did in Moody Moth. Now, we've used all five of these colors for the thank you cards that we did on Wednesday. Um, but if you want to see, but let's go through these papers real quick. So we've got um, a, a dry brush and some, look at those daisies, you guys. Aren't those beautiful? <gasps> Love this paper. And then you've got that, um, I want to say that's actually the copper clay, but I think it might be the pecan pie. Stop teasing us. That's my job. Um, and then, oh, you guys, isn't that gorgeous? There is your spread, you guys. You get two pages of this. This will give you a spring two-page spread. If you're a scrapbooker, 12 by 12, here you go. And isn't that gorgeous? This paper does all of the work, you guys. Love it. Love it. So, Laura Ann, is that you t your way of telling me that you want to see that Moody Mob card? Here's the Wild Wheat, which is kind of like a dijon kind of yellow. But, oh, you guys, look at that. Those white and pink daisies with that Wild Wheat. Oh, I love it. Love it. And then there's this kind of airbrush. You've got a green undertone, garden green, and maybe lemon lime twist with a little bit of pretty peacock. And then you've got this daisy piece. And then here's your pebbled path wash. And the daisy piece on that. So Kim and Erica, I think that's all that I know that are in here that were at the bash. Kim and Erica, should we show them that fun fold with the Moody Mauve? Should we? You guys tell me. Erica and Kim, you guys tell me. So here's the pebbled path with that pretty green paper. Love that. Okay, and then you've got this wash, this Moody Mauve wash. Nah, but here's the paper, you guys. Here's the sheet. Do you guys remember 
We had a couple years back, we had um, a piece of designer series paper that did something similar to this. Had it all broken up. You guys, I want to show you something. I'm going to steal. Becky put in some samples, you guys, and she used that piece right there. She cut it up and she used each one. So, <laughs> no fighting in the comments, you guys. So, this piece, she matted it and put it on green. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's so easy. So, that's this piece. And then she took, not this one. She took this piece. Paula's here. And then that's this one. You guys, she didn't do anything except for mat it and put some ribbon on it. That is this. Look at how gorgeous that is. And then the last one is this one. This, that wild wheat, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so she cut all of these pieces up. And she used the pieces, put them on cardstock layers, you guys, and used those as her front. You guys, this paper does all the work for you. If you are a newer stamper, if you are a newer stamper, you guys, this designer series paper is going to help you figure out how to get those layers in and make a gorgeous card without a single stamp, except for a sentiment. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I guess we're gonna show you guys. No crying in, in on crafter day, there's none of that. Okay, so, should we show them? We're gonna show them the Moody Moth card. Okay, Moody Moth card. Just the Moody Mob card. <coughs> so, you guys, I paired the Moody Mob with <laughs> Oh, Kim. I like the dry brush too, Erica. I know Erica is not a huge flower person, you guys, but she does flowers for her friends that like flowers. So, all right. So, this is one, one of the six cards that we did for the Butterfly Birthday Bash, you guys. And you're only going to be able to see them. Um, just photos, except for this one. It is... Laura Ann, you're right. That designer series paper is very good for a simple stamping. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So here is the Moody Mauve. Moody Mauve with the um, a Wash and Beauty designer series paper. Isn't that pretty? And it opens to that. And it opens to that. So that is Moody Mauve with the A Wash and Beauty paper. That's it. That's all you get. Okay. Now I need you guys. I need. Thank you, Laura Ann. You guys, we have new neighbors next door. Um, they moved in two weeks ago, and they have a little munchkin, and um, they're a younger couple, but I haven't, I've heard anyways. So I want to, I'm going to bring them over some eggs, and I figured I would do a cute little tag to put on the eggs. Um so that I can drop them off over there. So I'm going to go grab, I'm going to give them a dozen and a half eggs because, you know, why not? I got plenty. Um, I'm going to grab that so that I can, 
we can do the, the tie on it and the whole nine yards all together. So I have some tags, and you guys know the bits and pieces is always full. So the bits and pieces is always full of good things, you guys. And I, I'm, I'm always, no, 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 Erica, the other side. These are neighbors on the other side. So I want to use a big tag because I need a, I need some room. I want to use a big tag. And you guys, let me show you. Those are eggs from my house. These, my girls lay these gorgeous eggs, all the different colors, all in my chicken coop. One of my favorite things, and no, that's not from Jewel. I just reuse egg cartons. And I want to do a tag with some fun stuff on it, and some ribbon, and a whole bunch of things to make it cute. I have a piece of this. But I don't think this is going to be big enough. Oh, dang it. Almost. Not quite. Not quite. Other side of what? Our, oh, yeah. Other side. Other side, other side. So let's see. I'm going to do a thicker ribbon. And I know that this is going out, and I love this ribbon, you guys. Oh, I don't know that I have enough of this ribbon either. Oh, I love this ribbon, too. I think I'm going to have to get a spool of this, you guys. Is this one long enough? <gasps> you guys, it's not. Although it could be. I think it could be. Do, do, do. Oh, 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 look what I got down here. It's this longer little piece. What about this? Oh, oh, that might be long enough. So I'm going to take these two. This last piece, I'm going to bring in my reverse tweezers so that I can hold it tight. And then I'm going to take this little piece of linen thread that I had in my bits and pieces, you guys, I'm going to take that and I'm going to tie this right in here. Tie that like that. And there's some more pieces in here. Oh, there's another long piece. Good. Long piece. I think we need some color. But let's, before we decide colors, let's figure out what we're going to do with this. I want to do like a hello. I want to do kind of springy. Um, I'm thinking this hello and maybe I'm actually thinking this hello here, but I have, and where's my piece that I'm, my pack of goodies that I'm looking for. Don't need to glue dot the ribbon down. It's all good. All right, let's see what we got in here. We've got a lot of parts in here, you guys. We've got um, a tree, a leaf. Let's see. We've got cute little bunny rabbits stamped. That would be cute. Little heart, some flowers. More leaves. I don't know um, the couple at all, you guys. So I'm thinking that I'm going to kind of try to keep this 
neutral because I don't know them yet. So I've, I have not heard too much yet. I hear they're nice. That's all that I've really heard so far. So let's see. I'm kind of digging the pool party circle. So you guys, this is what I do. When I need little things like this, I go through my stuff. I pull out what I think I could use. And use up some of these circles. What do you guys think so far? I think that might be good. Just like that. I know. Don't tell don't tell Jean, you guys. We're not using we're not using the tree rings. Don't tell Jean. But what do you guys think about this? Something along the lines of that. And I can put the hello down here on the bottom. And we need a little something else. Let's see, pumpkins. All stuff. Oh, here's butterflies. Butterflies are always a good idea. So we've got butterflies and tulips. Nothing in there except for maybe this one. Oh, that's cute. What about that? Just like this. What do you guys think about that? We'll put the we'll put the hello down here. And we'll put this up here. We'll tie it on. I'll bring the, the I'll bring these up. And we'll just, and we'll do the hello in black. What do you guys think about that? All from the bits and pieces container, you guys. Kind of neutral, kind of simple. But it looks put together. Got a winner, Paula says. Okay. Got a winner. All right, then, all oh, that goes back in there. Let's put this together. I want to do this as a tie. As the tie. So we're going to tie that on too. That should be on good now. One of these, this one, the shorter one I just put on, that one's going to get tied in a bow. like that and then this longer one is going to get the um the tag on it okay you guys this biggest wish is staying in okay and i'm telling you this one is a good one let me get my black ink definitely a keeper for sure Where's that ribbon at? Because <laughs> we've got all this scrap, you guys. I want to use some of the scrap ribbon in here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. So now, I don't know where all my stamps 
stamps went. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull in my piercing mat because I want a one-time stamp. Oh, I know, Paula. Me too. I like this one because I like the different fonts. All right, so here's our hello down here in the corner. Let it sit and marinate a minute. I do too, Laura Ann. That's what the bits and pieces are all about. That is what they're all about. Okay, so there's our hello, which is perfect. And then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. Here. And you guys, this is a tag. So this is not something that has to be mailed. So you know what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of dimensionals on this. Okay, so we got that. And then we have our crushed curry. And I need to get another pack of dimensionals. These big ones? Yeah, these are big ones. And I'm going to double this one. Here. And then we'll do a single on this one. And we'll put it here. And then we're going to double this. I think we're going to triple this one. So it'll sit up on top. Don't be afraid, you guys. That's what dimensionals are for. The whole point of a dimensional is to lift and give dimension to your card. And there's that. So there's our tag. And then we're going to come up from the behind here like this and I'm going to tie this oh I hear little I hear the little ones you guys and I'm using my reverse tweezers you guys to hold my knot right there that's the length that I want that so I'm going to tie my bow my little bow here do 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 Pull this all from scrap, you guys. Come on. Where is it? There we go. Our cute little bow, all from our scrapping. You gotta just make it work for you. There you go. City girl question, is there such a thing? Fresh eggs don't need to be refrigerated. Okay, so you do not have to put eggs in the refrigerator for 10 days. And it's not a city girl question because I didn't know the answer either before I started keeping chickens. So if you go to a farm where they use all their eggs every day, they won't put them in the refrigerator. Eggs can stay out for 10 days. So long as the hen's not sitting on them. You don't want a hen sitting on them, but they can be on your counter for 10 days. Um, after that, they need to go in the refrigerator. Now, eggs are good for 45 plus days, you guys. If you get them in the refrigerator after that or before that 10-day mark, eggs are good for 45 days. Fresh farm eggs. Let me make a note, okay? So, because it does make a difference. It really does. Getting your grocery store eggs, you definitely have to go by the date that's on there, you guys, because 
I don't know how long those have been around, but I can tell you my eggs, if you have ever come and gotten eggs from me, because I do sell my eggs, um, if you've ever gotten eggs from me, I will tell you how old the eggs are so that you know how long they can be in the refrigerator for. Most of my eggs that I have ever sold or given away, like these, are a week to two weeks old. And that's it. Because I go through so many eggs. Not just personally eating them, but people come and purchasing them. So, that's the story of how long eggs can sit. Now, how cute is this, you guys? Isn't that cute? Just a nice little personal touch for um, for our, I think we need some embellishments though. I know that, and I'm sad, but I know that, I have black matte dots, you guys, and I'm sad that they're leaving us. However, oh, apparently I don't have any more. Hmm. However, this might be a nice fit. We've got the pool party in the green. I think we should use these. These are going away, but I think these are perfect match for what we're doing here. Because you know, we need some... Uh... You do learn all sorts of crazy things here on Coffee and Cards. You just never know, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know what I'm going to share with you. Okay, that is definitely not the color I want. This is definitely the color I want. Come on, putty. So we'll do that there. And come on this here, this here, and these dark green ones kind of look like black to me, so we're going to use those on the butterfly part. Two, and a third one. There we go. So, that's what it needed, you guys. That's what it needed. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of sparkle. So pretty. Okay. Now, that. How would you like to meet your new neighbor and get something like that, you guys? I'm thinking that would be a good one. Alrighty. So, that's what I have for you guys today. That's it. A lot of exciting things, you guys. So, just a reminder. Paper share. You guys, if you forget, if you have forgotten or are not aware yet of how I do the um, annual and the mini paper shares, I bag them, tag them, and put them in a box for you. Or if it's getting mailed, then you guys have to assemble the, block, the box. But I wanted to make sure to talk to you about that because you will be, become known as the egg lady. I don't think so, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm already chicken gen. It's all good. Um, please, please ask questions, you guys. Whether it's paper share, Specialty Paper Share, Ribbon Share, and In Color Club. I have four things going on. If you go to whispersinink.net, not this morning, not today's post, but the last couple posts, you'll get all the share information. If you need information about that, please let me know. All right, that's all I got today, you guys. I hope you have a great crafter day, and I hope that you have a great day getting crafty. I look forward to seeing you next time. You guys, you can do it. Bye, guys. Thanks, Sherry.